Welcome back. If you saw the last video, we cleaned this Bell Colt radio casing. In this video, we're going to polish this casing and we're going to use two products. Firstly, we're going to use this Auto Soul metal polish and then we will finish it off using this Brasso metal polish. So I've got two cloths, one to apply the product and another to buff it off. So we'll start on the top of this casing here and we'll see how it turns out. So at the moment this looks really clean, it looks great, but it's just lost its shine. So I think um, finishing it off with this polish will work well. So we're going to start with this Auto Soul product. This is a metal polish and then we're just going to polish that on. Now I'm just being wary when I'm polishing here that I'm not putting too much pressure on the top of this case. Um, I don't want it to crack on me. And we'll just get this polished in. Now I've used Auto Soul in the past to polish up plastic so I know how well it works. So if you're unsure just test a bit of polish on the bottom of the casing before you put it on any areas that's seen. Now we'll just see how that, that looks. That's already a noticeable difference here. I can actually see the light shining of the top of it now. So um, I'm just going to work a bit more into it. And then we'll just work around the rest of the unit. Okay, so we've finished the stage using our Auto Soul metal polish, and you could probably already see that light reflection on top of the casing here. So it's made a huge difference actually. Um, it's really brought it up really nicely, quite surprised. But um, we're still going to finish it off with a bit of Brasso. So we'll just work um, the Brasso into this plastic and try and bring that up so it's a, a nicer shinier surface but this casing is looking a whole lot better than what it was actually um, i'm really pleased with how that's turned out so we'll apply this brasso and we'll just see how much more that this uh, plastic will start shining with a bit of brasso applied to it okay so we'll just give this a quick shake actually really pleased with how that's looking at the moment so Hopefully this will bring it up even better. Now we're just going to apply the Brasso to this cloth and then we'll just rub it into the surface. So good lot of Brasso and we're just polishing it in. So we're just circular motion. Now you probably notice that we've got some dry polish forming in these grooves here on the case. That's not a problem. Uh, what we'll do afterwards is use a toothbrush just to clean that out. Now I've just finished going over with the Brasso and I've just buffed this casing off and you can see the reflection of the light on top of the casing here so it's actually turned out really well um, quite surprisingly so you can still see that crack up the top there that's not too bad um, now you'll probably notice in these grooves here just got a bit of the polishing product left in it now how i'm going to remove that is i'm just going to use a toothbrush and we're just going to go along the grooves here and just remove any of that leftover polish. Right, so that's as much as I'm going to do on this case. It's looking a lot better now. Um, a lot cleaner and the reflection of the light so you can see that it's definitely polished up okay. 
Now the last step is just to address the crack on the bottom of the casing here. Now you can see that when I press down that this crack opens up. So it's quite a big crack. It sort of runs to the end of the case here and to this corner side here. Um, now I'm in two minds of what glue to use. I'm sort of wondering whether a super glue or epoxy glue would be best. I'm going to go for the epoxy glue just so that we can sort of layer it along the crack and it will set hard. I'm hoping it will work its way into the crack. I have a feeling a super glue would be able to work its way into the crack a lot better but I don't think we're going to get that hard layer of glue across the top like we would with an epoxy glue. So we'll get this glue mixed up and we'll apply it and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so we're going to mix some of this epoxy glue up, so we'll just um, get this mixed up, then we'll apply it to the crack. So we'll just give that a good mix up. Okay, so we've mixed up this epoxy. I'm just going to open this crack up a bit. And then we're just going to apply it. We're just going to try and force that glue into the crack. Okay, so I've put a layer of epoxy glue just along that crack. I've worked the glue into the crack. Now if we were to turn this on its side here, don't know how well this is going to show on camera, but um, the glue has worked through the crack, so you can see it definitely on this end here, but um, having a closer look, um, the glue's actually seeped through the crack up here. Now further up this part of the radio, I've just layered over that crack, and hopefully that will add a little bit of strength to it to prevent it from spreading up the side of this casing. Now I'm just going to let this sit overnight and harden. Now this part of the project's done and I'm really happy to say this has turned out really well. So this old Colt radio case will definitely see another day. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. We've successfully polished the casing for a Bell Colt radio. Just to recap, the two polishes I've used is Auto Soul Metal Polish and just to finish it off, Brasso. Now in the next radio video, I'm thinking of looking at the chassis for the Bell Colt radio. We'll have a quick look at seeing if we can clean that up and then work out a plan on getting it going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.